Hey everyone. Welcome back to TechHead. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure to click the subscriber button. So today, let's get to know about eddy current breaks. To begin with, let me explain what an eddy current break is. An eddy current break, also known as an induction break electric break or electric retarder, is a device used to slow or stop a moving object by dissipating its kinetic energy as heat and most commonly used in trains and roller coasters. Unlike friction brakes where the drag force that stops the moving object is provided by friction between two surfaces pressed together, the drag force in an eddy current brake is an electromagnetic force between a magnet and a nearby conductive object in relative motion, due to eddy currents induced in the conductor through electromagnetic induction. The braking action is made by varying the strength of the magnetic field and depends on the speed of object. Moving into the working principles of the eddy current brake system, two basic laws of electromagnetics govern them, namely the Faraday's and Lenz laws. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction states that, when a conductor cuts magnetic flux, an EMF is induced in the conductor. The induced EMF is proportional to the strength of magnetic field and speed of conductor. And Lenz law defines that an induced electromotive force always gives rise to a current whose magnetic field opposes the original change in magnetic field. The direction of the current is in such a way as to oppose the cause, that is the movement of the disc. Thus, the moving conductor will experience a drag force from the magnet that opposes its motion, proportional to its velocity. The electrical energy of the eddy currents is dissipated as heat, due to the electrical resistance of the conductor. Now let's look into the working of the system. When the electric conductor starts moving, two magnetic fields are created. One field works with the current, the other field works against it. The first part of the magnetic field tries to slow it down, and the second part will absorb the object's kinetic energy, and start to slow it down as well. Linear brakes are composed of a stationary element and a moving part. Both the tracks and the train or the roller coaster have metal built into them to react to each other. As the objects move across the track, it keeps producing kinetic energy. The metal absorbs the energy and uses it to stop the train or roller coaster when the brake is engaged. Circular brakes have an electromagnetic component that is static or moving. The static circular brakes have a metal disc that produces eddy currents. The moving circular brakes use electromagnetic coils and a wheel to create a magnetic force field for the eddy currents. Moving ahead, the two common types of eddy current brakes are the circular or disc eddy current brakes and the linear eddy current brakes. The circular eddy current brake system consists of a conductor that is a flat disc rotor that turns between the poles of the magnet. Disc electromagnetic brakes are used on vehicles such as in trains, and power tools such as in circular sores, to stop the blade quickly when the power is turned off. While the linear eddy current brake consists of a conductive piece in a straight rail or a track that the magnet moves along, linear eddy current brakes are used on some rail vehicles, such as trains. They are used on roller coasters, to stop cars smoothly at the end of the ride. To number a few advantages, we know that no friction is used, that is, no contact between surfaces, and hence no wear or tear, and that in turn provides long life. It also provides high braking effect at high speeds, and is operational at any rotational speed. Looking into the disadvantages, we can see that, braking force diminishes with diminishing speed, and has no ability to hold the load in position at standstill and is a very difficult design. ECB has found various applications such as in high-speed trains and in roller coasters. It's also used in vehicles but not widely used, they are best substitutes for ordinary brakes due to their jerk-free operation. Future aspect of ECB remains in the design innovation, to apply them in slow-speed vehicles also, and thereby completely replacing the ordinary brakes. This presentation was based on various journals, with major contents from research papers namely, an analysis of eddy current braking system, published in International Journal of Mechanical and Production Engineering Research and Development, 2019. Design and Fabrication of Eddy Current Braking System, 
published in International Journal of Emerging Technologies and Innovative Research, 2019. And Design of Contactless Eddy Current Braking System, published in International Journal of Engineering Research and Technology, 2018. I would like to conclude by focusing on the fact that it as an innovation gives us immense control in high-speed vehicles and overcomes drawbacks of ordinary braking systems, such as jerking and wear and tear. If you have found this video useful please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the subscriber button, thank you.